Good evening, all. Apologies for the slightly later than usual start. I was fiddling with something on Discord. I switched out my announcement uh, bot. It hasn't currently worked, which is fine. I knew it had the potential not to. Uh, but we are live, so let's get into the comic. Ooh. Still got a bit of stutter, so I have reduced the output quality of the background. And that definitely helped. It, it wasn't quite as slow. However, it was still a little slow, still a little stuttery. So, next time reduce the output quality of a few of the other things too. I've got a bit of a fluctuating bit rate, but that's okay. Also, how loud is this music? Not too loud, that's okay. That's fine then. Well, the Oh, Jesus. <laughs> While the bitrate smooths out, we will get started, get moving. <laughs> it always feels like too long since I last worked on this. Which is leading me to believe that maybe it would be the, for the best if I actually did have an additional stream for just the comic. I used to have three streams for the comic, and that was because I had a deadline to reach for chapter two. I don't have a deadline now. At least no hard and fast set one. But even so, I'm actually thinking that maybe I bring back either the Sunday stream or a stream on a different evening. Because I always feel weirdly out of practice when I come back to this. And I, I don't want to feel like out of practice. This is the main thing I'm supposed to be doing, not the gaming. It's this this stuff. It's the art and such. Like that should be relatively consistent. I will say, it is quite consistent, it's just that I guess I don't do enough of it. I cast Divine Lick. Hey, Hello, Silent. How dare you, first of all, and second of all, lovely to see you. Just talking about how I'm wondering, because I always feel so out of practice when I come back to art streams, and I'm wondering, do I just add another day, another stream? To working on it and I think we I think I've discussed this before in chat uh, but I don't feel like I had I didn't feel conclusive on my own answer I think I feel like I I don't know I don't know part of me wants to have another stream for art and stuff part of me doesn't I don't know. It's a tough call. Just gonna fill it all in. With shade, I don't think I need to be picky. But yeah, every single time I come to a drawing stream, I feel at, like weirdly out of practice on what I'm working on on the comic. And I think one way to circumvent that was is just more, more comic streams, and more working on the comic. 
but I'm not too sure. I already work on it two nights a week, but I, I used to work on it more. And that's why it's like in my head. That's why I'm thinking about it. I used to work on it more often. And in good news, I'm over halfway on the tarot cards, which is very exciting. We can get some in, in stream tarot readings, uh, which should be super cool, especially since they're rat baby themed. Uh, more streams as an avid Grey Mouse fan. I'm all for more soup time, but also Grey Mouse enjoyer. It makes me worry. It will burn out faster. Yeah, and that's my thought too, is that I, I mean, that's always the concern, isn't it? We don't want to burn out. We want to give ourselves adequate time to relax and take care of ourselves. And that is kind of, that is at the forefront of my mind. Uh, however, I'm also at the forefront of my mind. I'm also aware that the progress on this specific chapter has been relatively slow not a bad slow but it's also like I think I haven't had single or not single uh, two two comic days basically like before I used to have more more days working on the comic and I also felt like I got more done Though, if, if I'm honest, I probably didn't as well, and that's maybe, maybe I'm just being too hard on myself, is that I probably didn't get more done. But I thought, I feel like I did, if that makes sense. I used to do one panel a stream, which is pretty good, but they're also not super complicated panels. And also the quality of my panels has gotten better and better each time, so that requires more time as I go. It's all, it's all big thought processes for this. You know, it's like, well, my art wasn't as good back then, so it didn't take as long. But then also, I got more done more quickly. To a certain degree, we don't count the first panel of chapter one, which was four months. Uh, maybe I'm just being too hard on myself. That I think that I need to do more faster when I have, you know, what I had to compare it to last time, which was four months for one panel, which I haven't done yet. I haven't done a four month long panel this time. That being said, I know that Timberstone will be pretty tough. That'll be an intense uh, chapter, for sure. Because that's an entire town, town full of people, a vibrant town of people existing and being happy and stuff. So there's gonna be stuff going on there and it's gonna take fucking forever to draw. But, it also look good, really good. I do think I also need to add a image to that, to this card. But I could do that in shadows. What if you do like a bi-monthly where uh, there will be an extra art stream to test it out, one week extra stream, the next week no extra stream and see how things turn out? at the end of the month. That's a really good idea. I think that's a very, and a fantastic middle ground, honestly. Uh, yeah, good thinking, Silent. I think that works. And at the very least, it's, it's a good thing to try, right? We can test it. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. If it works really well, then great. Scientific method, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you right. 
yeah, we'll test it and we'll see how we go. It's a very basic looking portrait, or not portrait, picture with people in it. <laughs> No one's really gonna, like, that's tiny. That's gonna look tiny on this page, so no one's gonna be able to see it, so I'm gonna just keep it very simple. Also, it helps not lead, lead the audience to spoil themselves on what the picture is. So, yeah. Uh, there we go. That's ratchet mostly done. I feel like he needs teeth. <laughs> I feel like he's missing the old chompers. Uh, there we go. So jump back to line work. Just add some teeth in. Looks like a house. The picture? A little bit. Looks like a lot, it could be a lot of things, let's be honest. That's red, that's not the colour I want. Colour, not, not completely white, but not completely black. I mean, not completely white, but not colourful. There we go. And then back to shadows. We're good. Could be a house. Let me zoom in. It's not a house. <laughs> it's a thingus. A potential thingus. You'll get to see it in chapter, like, seven. So don't even worry. Don't even worry about finding out what this is. You will know, eventually. It'll be in a higher resolution then. <laughs> I love the idea that it's just like, oh, can we get an insight into what it is? No, absolutely not. I've drawn it poorly for a reason. Part of that reason is just because I can't be bothered drawing a high, highly detailed picture when it'll be seen for this one panel and one panel only until chapter seven. Just not worth it. Fill that in, and expand, then fill this in. And yeah, let me just hyper-analyze all the details and find out what the pick is. I mean, you can make some pretty, like, fair assumptions about it, I'm sure. Like, there's a lot to assume about this image. However, I don't, I mean, feel free to predict it, predict what it is, but I have a feeling you will likely be not 100% correct. Having, you know, being the one that knows this comic, I feel like you'll probably, you've got, I'd say like a 40% chance of being correct, which is pretty good. This is the most kind of basic looking outline or shadow for a goblin. A goblin ratchet. That looks like him. As a shadow. <laughs> sort of, yeah, that's that's very ratchety. And then oh, actually good thing I should probably do is add a shadow for the person standing behind him. Let's 
So not to give too much away, but let's add a looming shadow building from here. Yeah, that works. That's uh, is it's that one picture of the whole friend group together. That's pretty good, but still, like that's broad but accurate. What is it exactly though? That's what I'm saying. The forty percent chance. You've narrowed it down though. To be fair, very strongly. And I need, uh, do I need this darker or lighter? I don't know. We'll make it darker. Give the individual a figure of a sort. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, Smoking Aces, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Good evening or morning, depending on where you are. I hope you're well. We are currently just chipping away at comic tonight. Which is, yeah, great. Still feel very out of practice, but fine. I feel good going forward that I'll probably be able to get more done as time goes on. Hello, smoking. Get in the soup. Get in the soup. Get. We need a, that smoky flavor. That smoking flavor. Yeah. If the shadow's going out in front of this person, then it should also go out in front of Ratchet as well. Realistically. Yeah. Nice. Can you still get the magic up? Ooh. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, you absolutely can. Yes, it's here. It's written on this receipt. This receipt that I was confused about, as I predicted. I predicted I would see EP Magic up and I would be like, what the fuck? Yes. I'm more than happy to to get on this Magic up. And as as is my kind of my right, I get to look at a picture of Magic up for a minute before not a minute, a second. I keep saying minute. Um, I get to look at a picture of Magic Carp for a second uh, before I start. Magic Carp. So just looking you up on my phone right now. Okay. I mean, you know, fairly straightforward. We know we know what a Magic Carp looks like, right? We all kind of know what a Magic Carp looks like. For some reason, I want North Carolina barbecue, despite hating it. What's wrong with your body? You're getting interesting cravings for things. Is it? Is your body telling you you need, like, maybe more salt? More salt in your diet? Or barbecue sauce? I do like barbecue sauce, to be fair. Like, so I can respect that. Then again, I also really been craving Korean barbecue ever since Cryo talked about it. Are you pregnant? I didn't want to say that outright, but it could be a potential possibility. Okay, let's magic up. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? No. Silent as far as I... Oh, this is not the, not a good color for this. Uh, we should do the side on there. So like that, 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 that. And I'll give it, I'll give myself more space in a second, but... Okay, cool. And then again, control T, bring it down in size so that all magic cup can fi fit. Uh, the reason I hate that barbecue is because they only use pork and I can't eat it. Ah, okay. That's, that makes sense. Well, then it's very interesting that you are craving it. Especially like, well, you know, from the outset, something that you hate. So it's very odd that you you aren't craving it at all. Mm 
Magikarp. Misty. I'm not known to be subtle. That's okay. I mean, <laughs> no, but that's okay. And then Magikarp's got like a little like midsection like that because it's because fish because Magikarp fish. Gonna give him the goob goober eyes. And then instead of actually having, like, he's got one of these mouths. Fish mouths. Wait, if it's an EP magic cut, wouldn't magic cut? Uh, wouldn't night cap instead of top fins? You right. You are very right. Hold on, let me do the lips. Which I feel weird even saying. But, here we are. Doing a big yawn. It's making me want to yawn too. Is I am EP. Like this magic up. Oh my god. Staring at it like, ugh. <laughs> magic up. What are you doing? And also change the eye because it is EP, so it's not going to be wide, like, not going to have a wide open eye. Surely not. I mean, trying it my trying my absolute hardest to like make this as like quick sketchy as possible, so that I don't focus on doing too many details. That's kind of more of a Santa's hat, but you know what I mean. If we add the like stripes and stuff, then it gets a little bit more night cappy. Uh, oh no, did I get xenomorphed in your sleep again? I uh, wouldn't. I mean, that sucks. That would suck, wouldn't it? Because penis. <laughs> uh, I would hope not, considering that all the factors making it impossible for you to get pregnant. Yeah. Don't know, I'm just stabbing in the dark. Mm, and virgin. Ah, right, of course, yes. But then again, there have been tales of virgin births, virgin pregnancies. So maybe it's not too far from reality. Um, when you're sleepy, do your top eye go down first or... Yeah, top eye. Top eyelid goes down first. You never know, it could always, could always happen. You could also be, you could have mitosis uh, a, a birth. Mitosis? I don't know. You may have been asexually impregnated. I don't know. What am I saying? Both valid reasons not to be pregnant. I mean, yeah, that's fair. If I'm the parent to the second coming of <laughs> coming, there are going to be problems. Probably, yeah. Absolutely. It does, yeah. It does sort of dissolve a lot of arguments as well that many Catholics have had about uh, certain... I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get into that, actually. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just here to draw magic up, not make political... Not have political or religious stances. Not really. I know it's good for me, right? Uh, serious questions about the first coming. Yeah, exactly. Now this doesn't feel like I'm going to divide. Yeah. Fair enough. So you just like, just you just want it, but you also hate it. Hate the taste of it. Weird. And it's not like a brain curiosity thing, is it? And it, well, you you know what it tastes like, and you dislike you dislike the taste of it, so it can't be that either. Weird. What a what a strange, strange craving. I keep saying craving, but I mean, it is a craving in a sense.
Uh, religious stance. Zeus, keep him away from everything. Yes, Zeus should not be allowed anywhere near anything. Especially not in his goose form. Oh, no, not goose. Swan form. Absolutely not. Get him away. I think... Greek mythology is fascinating that so much of that is... So much of, like, the Greek mythology is Zeus put his penis where it shouldn't have been. And therefore, trouble was caused. Zeus was a slut. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I know what pork tastes like. Not a fan and your stomach can't digest it. Mmm. Interesting. Is, mmm. It's not, like, so it's not the way the pork has been marinated in the barbecue or anything like that. Like, you, you outwardly dislike it. Which is very odd. Very odd. Uh, we got Magikarp. Doesn't look too EP though. I've seen EP before and this isn't that EP. <sighs> you gotta get the scrunches. Scrunches in the nose, which a magic cup doesn't really have a nose, but... Uh, but in his defense, they willingly spread their legs. Well, some of them were tricked. <laughs> Let's not get that wrong. Some of them were tricked. Uh, he still is. Only thing stopping him right now is the fact that he can't leave Mount Olympus. Good. Not all the time. Good. Keep him up there. Dude's causing trouble. The original fuckboy. Let's... Yeah, let's keep him up there for now. He seems like he's causing a lot of trouble. That's not a good thing. I mean, it seems like he was causing a lot of trouble. Now, not so much. He's calmed down a bit. Uh, what do I want to add to this? What Does anybody have, like, a, a bedtime routine that they kind of, like, either religiously or militarily stick to? Because for me, I, I can never find a routine that suits me. I used to try to read before bed. That didn't work. I used to try to, you know, do, like, a small bit of exercise before I went to bed. That didn't work. I don't know. Dude did, did it with a cloud and it gave birth to all the centaurs, yeah. You do, but you shouldn't say it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I won't pry, I won't pry. If it is dubious in nature, it's probably going to get me in trouble with the Twitch lords. And I want to remain on good terms with them. <laughs> One thing that... I mean, always brush your teeth, of course, but then I always also poop. I always go and poop. Go to the bathroom, make sure I don't need to get up in the middle of the night. Don't need that. Don't need that trouble, you know? Don't need that faff. Mouse, it's almost 4 a.m. for you. Oh, so then you don't sleep. Is what you're telling me. You don't have a bedtime routine because you don't have a bedtime. <laughs> Clearly. I will say with that, I think we are... Uh, I could add some shadows under the, the magic carp. And with that, we are done. Nothing illegal. Just a fun solo adventure. I suspected. I suspected. <laughs> I didn't need to pry. I didn't need to pry. That. Like, if you willingly give that information forward, who am I to stop you from doing that? But I can't ask. So. <laughs> so, yeah. You gotta bring that information forward willingly, otherwise I cannot pry. I'm like a vampire that's 
you know, being invited into someone's home, I cannot ask. As a Twitch streamer, ugh, as a streamer, I cannot ask. Do I have more shadows to do? No. Yes. No. Yes. But yes, in the sense that I actually need to remove shadows. I was just thinking of a fun way to say it. Fair enough. I appreciate the showmanship of that. Uh, I've tried lots of routines, but my medical grade insomnia and other factors make my sleep a thing of the past. Yeah, well, I am in a similar space. I feel like I'm in a similar space to you is that I have medical, like I have a medical kind of grade insomnia that is just awful uh, in certain periods of the year where I just, I cannot, straight up cannot get sleep. Uh, you always have more shadows to do. I do. But I always feel, I feel in this instance, maybe I'm good. Maybe I'm safe. I could be wrong, and if I am, I'll come back. But, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Um, but yeah, I have terrible insomnia. And since getting my apartment broken into, it's only gotten worse. So yeah, for me, bed bedtime routines don't work just because I don't know when I'm going to be falling asleep. Some nights, at least. You know, some nights I just don't know when I'm going to feel tired as well. And one of the things that I used to do is I used to, used to work on my projects and stuff like that, my art projects. Um, but it's normally better to just get into bed and get your brain in the process of falling asleep at the very least but even then fuck it's tough it's tough you know I want to get up and work on tarot cards or the comic and I'm like no 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 just go to bed just go to bed go to bed grey mouse you need to sleep and my brain's like you're gonna dream you're a lighthouse keeper and the lighthouse light is gonna wake you up my insomnia almost killed you once, had to go to the hospital and everything. Oh, Jesus. That's rough. Mine's never gotten th quite that bad, but it has gotten to points where I haven't, like, for whole nights I've just not slept. Or it's never felt like a restful sleep as well, which is, yeah. It's not fun. You know, when you wake having tried to go to bed at an early time and you just, you haven't had a restful sleep at all but you remember falling asleep. Now I should just say this, just laying down with your eyes closed with the intention to sleep helps a lot. Yeah, it does. Just forcing yourself to, to just close your eyes, lie down. I used to do a thing where I was like, I intentionally like kick-started my dreams you know like I would just imagine scenarios and things like that as if they were dreams while I was lying in bed and preparing to sleep or being an insomniac and that helped for a while you know get the dream started I was awake for two months wild middle school summer yeah jeez that is a long time for one to be awake or, you know, unrestfully sleeping at the very least. I don't know how I feel about this, ref this light, I don't know. Not convinced, not convinced. What was the previous one? Just fuzz, basically. Just fuzz. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. It's not ideal, but it works. Until I find a better highlight for hair 
it works. I cannot complain. That's clicked everything, not my intention. Where's soft brush? Soft brush. Make it nice and soft. There we go. Oop. Oop, yep, good, we're good. Yeah, there we go, that's nice. Very cute. Very cute, very handsome. It's a little too bright. I want just subtle kind of additions to Ratchet's face. Nothing too big. Little bit of light. I mean, this can be quite bright because it's reflected. So it's silver reflecting light. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's that for that. Then for this, I need to just get stonework or brickwork. Just very simple brickwork. It doesn't need to be complicated. Because then it makes my life easier and quicker. There is little complication in it, then perfect. I could be lazy. Yeah, and I need to allow myself the kind of rougher, like bush highlighting style. Yeah, nice. So what I did for the tree, I don't think so. It was not. Yippee. Downloaded sketchbook onto your old tablet today, got annoyed by only having a pen in the house and forgot to buy them when you go to the store. Ah, yeah. Ain't that always the way you you want to do art and you just don't have the supplies? Like, all the supplies anyway. Yeah. A constant struggle back when I used to do oil painting. Oil paintings. Never had what I needed. In the house. I have to go out and then I get distracted by something on special. And then I'd forget what I actually left for. Like, went out to go get. And it was. It's the constant cycle for traditional art, you know. And digital art, to a certain degree. And I just have... Soft shadows to do. And then we move on to the next page. It was that simple. We get to finish a page today. Hell yeah.
I love it when I get just a really e a really easy job uh, to do on the comic. Just load up load up the the file and pretty much everything's done from me previously from the previous stream. I love it when that happens. And then, as always, fill in the extra additional spaces. I have confirmed that traditional art is easy for you to focus on, though. Yeah, absolutely. Traditional art, I, well, I, for a very long time, I found that my traditional art was significantly better quality than my digital art, and it was because I had so, like, so far to catch up in, tr in digital art. Uh, so... Absolutely. And also it's very, it's like easy to kind of lose yourself in traditional art as well. It's so much easier to kind of get into as well. Digital art, as we all know, has various kind of hoops to kind of go through before you can do it kind of unconsciously to the same kind of level as we as how we do traditional art it took me years like many many years to get to a point where i felt like i could do digital art as well as my traditional art and even now like i still feel like my traditional art is still probably better to a certain degree Yeah, we're not going to illuminate his back because there is someone standing behind him. So we don't want to illuminate his back. You also f it also feels better when drawing. Guess I just like the sound of the utensils make. Yeah, absolutely. The, nothing's going to beat that like actual physical contact with with the medium that you're working in. Like definitely, definitely not. Sound of pencil on paper or brush on canvas or spray paint on <laughs> just thinking of all like the many mediums that exist for art hand on clay honestly like clay sculpting does seem like it would be fun to a certain degree complicated and difficult for sure also a little fun. Night. I'm at the beginner level in art in general, so quality-wise, the arts look the same. Hey, that's fair enough. We all start somewhere, so... Like, it is, it is what it is, you know? And if quality, like, quality is fairly similar on either side, then that's great, because it's always just about it's about improving to a, a point that you feel satisfied with more so than being good at one medium or another and we zoom out and we get some skylight and we'll actually have it only cascade off of ratchet's face and form as opposed to actually span all the way back. At least that's what I'm thinking. Feel free to correct me if you think I'm wrong. And then I'll berate you <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> no. No wrong answers, but that's, yeah. That's what I'm thinking composition-wise. We just have the light only, only on Ratchet. Symbolically, then it can kind of focus on him. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Keep it, keep it light. 
keep it saucy. Yeah. But that's this page done for the most part. There are a few things I want to alter and change, but that those can wait. Like the fort walls and stuff feel a little bit bare and barren. Uh, I actually feel like a good deal of moss could probably be climbing up this side. And I might actually just do this now, just so then I've got a starting point. No, it'll be right down the bottom. I got it in one. Holy crap. That was awesome. That worked out perfectly. The only art form I'd say I'm past the beginner level is, is in sculpting and carving, since I actually did them for like five years of your small existence. That's awesome. That's so cool. Well, hey... You know, you know my opinion on sculpting. I think it looks cool, and it would it looks like it would be fun. So nice, good on you. I should really be adding just moss and stuff to these spaces. It does kind of stand out because the line work is a lot more dense, and I've really like not bothered with that. <laughs> The second one, this one. Like, not made a solid effort. There we go, that's better. Better, not great. But better. Okay, there we go. And I'll probably do the rest, like, more of this... ...in my own time. Because this will just be like little alterations and changes just so that I feel like there's more to the landscape. Because for the very least, uh, this this specific comic, maybe the spin-off's less so, but Kaitiaki is a character in its own right. So I need to give it the Due, dil due diligence that you would a character no matter how excited I am to introduce the character that's coming up and I am very excited um, I would I want to make sure I do this all properly And then get rid of the details because they look, oh shit, they look weird as fuck. Definitely not at the level of a master. I can't make a, make stone look transparent like that one ancient Greek guy who, uh, with his veiled woman. Oh yeah, I know that one. That's gorgeous. Yeah, or to make make marble and stone soft, like look soft, like those renaissance paint not paintings renaissance sculptures where you know characters are grabbing grabbing at each other and holding each other and things like that and it the indents and the skin look like they're soft but they're not they're stone marble which is you know as i'm sure you can attest quite a it's a porous kind of stone good for carving but it's still quite hard I'll add more as I go, but yeah. Oh, actually, one thing I forgot to do is motion lines for Ratchet. Because we need some motion lines to notify us that Ratchet has actually flipped his dagger uh, beneath his armpit. Just gonna do it like this way, like really swift and sharp and messy kind of line work, but then I'll erase it around the bits that are important. And like so, so then people know. I could even just draw in a dagger 
like I did with the ear that everyone saw and many questioned me, questioned my mental stability. Uh, they didn't even have the highest quality tools we have today. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to go call it dagger flip and it's all going to be just the one layer. Maybe. <laughs> it's all going to be the one layer. Don't know why I started with the line work, though, in that case. Is that gonna... Yeah. And like so, there we go. And then just fill in certain spaces because the opacity is gonna be launched way, way down for these but it'll still have that desired effect, ideally. Yep, achieved it, achieved it beautifully. Yeah, that looks great. Give that a save and we move on to the next page. Page five. Okay, now that I say that, say now that I say page five, I actually feel like I have made some genuinely solid progress uh, over this chapter, and I have almost certainly been too hard on myself since most of the previous chapters have been ten pages long, which this chapter won't be. This chapter will be much more than ten pages long. But still, I'm on page five. So, got to give myself that credit. Uh, yep. That being said, let's actually get started. <laughs> let's get onto it. Cuz I get to draw my one of my fave characters, one of my favorite characters to write. So, I'm very excited. Very excited for that. And I feel like, almost certainly, we're not going to get this this panel done today. It's too much in it. But, it'd be really cool to get started. At the very least. I've had a change of heart about where Ratchet's eyes will be placed. I think he should be aware and prepared for whoever's behind him. It's so weird to think that this... So Ratchet was my character in the D&D campaign that we played that inspired this whole comic. But it's so weird to think about now because I'm now playing a character who is nothing like Ratchet. But I also played Ratchet, like, over two to three years ago. So it's been a long time since I've played Ratchet or a character like Ratchet. But it's so funny to think about that it's just this kid, just a sweet kid. That's all Ratchet, like the basics for what Ratchet is, is just a sweet kid. And now I'm playing a character who's like a jerk. <laughs> Bit of a jerk. Uh, kind of a serial killer, but hasn't kind of gotten his kill streak up, you know?
Just a bastard. An anti-hero, for sure. Oh, cosplay. My hat. It's a little low. Is that right? Yes. Sweet. Oh, we got stuff stretch. You're in your teenage angst phase. Yeah, that's fair. That, that makes sense. I'm an anxious teen now. No longer a sweet kid. Hey, son. Son, how you doing? I don't know who the fisherman is. Yeah, I'm a fisherman now. I, I'm not Grey Mouse Inc. I'm fisherman underscore carp. Soup in now go. Hey son, uh, how you doing? Get in the soup first of all, and then second of all, tell us how you, how your day has gone, or is going to go. <laughs> Soups, I'm okay. Been away for like a week. Yeah, where you been? Where you, where you been to? Hope it's been good. Hope it was a holiday. Like a nice holiday. So, was on Langland with some friends, which was super, which is a super rural island in Denmark. Had a lot of fun and relaxed a lot. That sounds amazing. Uh, I've seen you in place, I've seen you places, I think. I left Wednesday silent, so came back yesterday. Nice, nice, that's nice. That sounds great. Yeah, that sounds like a wonderful time. I really should go on a holiday. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I feel like I need a holiday. At some point, even though I was also start, I started the stream talking about how I felt like I'd not gotten anything done on the comic. <laughs> Only one issue. <gasps> what? There's an issue. Oh no. Yeah. Maybe I should go on a holiday. I think about it. <laughs> I will consider it. I feel like I put the, the pen tip there, like just below the line, and then it still adds something above the line or through the line, which is a little frustrating, a little annoying, a little fucking annoying. Can't flirt with me anymore? Ah, uh, you're taken. Congrats. Oh, are you really not? I'm just crushing on a very straight man and I'm very sad about it. Oh, well. Congrats for your feelings, of course. I'm devastated, but I also understand completely. You gotta you gotta listen to the heart. Take care of it and dedicate it when you when you feel you need to. I can respect that. Rip plays the sad, the sad violin for some son. Well well well, if it isn't the silvered rodent. It's me! Hello, Creo, how you doing? I noticed your message to me. I will respond to it and I'll read it uh, after this stream. This is an offensive meme, I assume. <laughs> or not. I think it was a message about when I come down for PAX. If I listened to my heart, I'd tell him I like him and he'd be like, I'm straight. But gay for you, son. Hey! I like the sass violin better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But alas, my heart is delusional. Hearts often are. We can't... It can be sometimes unfortunate who we choose to feel feelings for. But we we are humans. I mean, you are humans. I am a mouse. And we feel strongly about people. It happens. We, we have a fondness. A fondness for people. It is inevitable, I think. It's an invitation to come to your house. Yay! <laughs> Yippee! Yippee! 
<laughs> Keen. That sounds great. Uh, it's an invitation to come to your house. Yeah, cool. Oh, I will definitely, I'll have a read and then I'll probably almost certainly accept. As long as I'm not being force fed creatine. <laughs> I'm down. Tired of falling for unavailable straight man. Oh, let me tell you, Sona. Like, I get you. I get you. A hundred percent. It sucks. That you end up feeling attracted to someone who is just unavailable. Maybe not even the same sexuality as you. It happens. You know, it really does. It can be super rough. But yeah, the heart's a silly little organ that sometimes sends us in different little directions. It's, yeah. The brain doesn't choose who the fart, the fart loves. The brain doesn't choose who the fart loves. The brain does not choose who the heart loves, exactly. I don't sleep over at Cry's place. I'll bring marinated meat. Ooh, that'd be really nice. Play, for Play Fortnite and drink cola. Yippee! Yeah, I'm keen. Oh, that sounds fantastic. These comments and messages are way funnier than when Matt sees the videos. And, oh, shit. <laughs> no. I feel like I... Hold on. Hold on, gang. I'm just going to quickly look at something. Oh, this is not even the same message. I just read someone's broadcast channel because I immediately thought it was Cryos. Ooh. Wait a second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm watching it now. <laughs> that is a horrifying mousetrap. Well, now I'm afraid. I was excited, and now I'm afraid. Uh, for all you audio listeners, the video cryo sent me is a video of a kind of an improvised mousetrap, and they tested on a little, like, jelly rat. Now you want to see the video? Yeah, uh, I'll describe it to you as best I can. But basically, once the rat gets in, two little cords pull it taut, like pull it uh, um, into into the trap, and then a little bat hits it on the back of the head, and then a little like paddle spanks it. It's a sexy mouse trap. Yeah, exactly. It's it's it, it's exactly that. It caught me very off guard, <laughs> but I accept. To a certain degree, I accept. <laughs> Under conditions. <laughs> as long as creatine doesn't come anywhere near me, I'm fine with everything else. Can you imagine? Those are my conditions. <laughs> Just please don't overfeed me creatine. Everything else is fine. It's a Rube Goldberg mousetrap. Exactly, yeah. With a bit of with a bit of sex appeal just sprinkled on top. Bit of allure, as it were. Uh, you're sharing them the Discord. Thank you. Thank you for that. I think everyone deserves should see it. Should watch it. It's very topical. And appropriate for my channel as well. It's mouse based. It's mouse themed. So, of course it is. It has to be. Right? Yeah, I'm very keen for PAX. Got my, got my ticket sorted. Got a hotel booked for just the PAX time. I'm probably planning on staying longer, but for when PAX is happening, I've got a hotel right near the convention center, so I'm freaking sorted. Uh, under conditions like marinated meat. Exactly. The best kinds of meat meet under certain conditions, certain criteria, if you will. Ah, oh, but ever since you were talking about Korean barbecue cryo, I've been hankering for it. Almost tempted to just go and go to 82, plus 82 goji. Don't want to go by myself, though. I think that's the thing, is that I don't mind going to places by myself, but I think something like that feels like it requires friends. 
And my friends are often busy. Too busy for Korean barbecue with the mouse. Sad mouse noises. I should probably zoom in. Just to make this part easier. Grumbles! Oh, come on, get it right, get it right, Grimas, get it fucking right. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> Shared in not safe for work for obvious reasons. Yes, I appreciate that uh, forethought. Ah, oh, jeez. It's just such an, like, cumbersome and inconvenient angle. I'm sure both Lumen and Sal and Wiki... Uh, have some rooms for you if you wish to stay longer. I, I, we'll see what we can do. Like, it's only for the... I will only be down for, like, the weekend, but I may extend my time out just so that I can see more of Melbourne. It also would be nice to take, like, an actual holiday for myself, you know? Because I've never really done a holiday for myself. And sure, I'm going to Japan the next month, but it'd be nice to practice that. You know, practice a holiday. First in Melbourne and then go to Japan. Uh, the Korean barbecue we went to was incredible. Oh, no, you're talking about it now. You're going to make me want to get it. Get more, get Korean barbecue in my system. Get soju in my system. So that I don't have permission to see the message history of not... Oh, shit, I got to fix that. All right, thank you for, thank you for testing that out and letting me know it doesn't work properly. Bloody Discord. Bloody Grey Mouse when he was learning to use Discord and create Discord channels. Ugh. Fool. Uh, share it on the videos just for you to see. Yeah. <laughs> Not Safe for Work is basically no one can see anything on it unless it's posted immediately. <laughs> Which I like. Because Not Safe for Work is just for my... Uh, nudes. And I don't want those being tracked. I need to zoom out for this, though. This is icky. It's just a single line, and it's shitting me. It's just a single series of lines, and it's just shitting me. There we go, we're good. We're fine now. <laughs> Get Creo barbecue, yeah! Maybe. Maybe. If I'm... If it's the right time. It, actually, I probably will have time. Yeah, let's get Creo barbecue. Add it to the things to do. Add it to the list. Of grey mouse holiday things in Melbourne. Oh yeah, the mouse is deaf into that. What, Korean barbecue? Or nudes? <laughs> My own nudes? Maybe. Oh, the mouse trap. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Acts of degradation, I think, is what it's called. Yes to all three. Excellent. Yes, not wrong. You are not incorrect. Okay, less QB face, but... Pretty much this. <laughs> Trapped and spanked. I mean... <sighs> maybe. I don't know, I've never been in a situation where it's... where I've had to consider it, I think. Especially at the same time? I guess so. If I'm gonna be degraded, I hope there was food. There'd be food available. <laughs> if my good honor was going to be besmirched in any kind of way, I would hope that there was catering. That actually kind of looked nice. There you go. Ah, oh, shit, fuck. There we go. Don't worry, we will red, wed red wedding your honor. What? <laughs> red wedding me? No. If I ever do decide to get married, I don't want it to end like the red wedding. That's 
really unfor that would be really unfortunate for me. I'm already fairly averse to marriage as a concept for me. The fact that I'd get stabbed or shot with a crossbow, that sounds pretty fucking shit. In my humble opinion. Just gonna have a bit of a curvature to the face. Just a bit. I'm actually gonna tone down the um, draft transparency even more. Just be the one doing the red wedding portion, so I be the wedding planner. I mean, I could do that. I could plan a wedding that ends in murder. An absolute tragedy. That's why I've not been allowed to plan any of my friends' weddings. And I shouldn't be allowed to plan my own. There we go. Nice. Then we erase away all the bits that do not leave. I mean, the... Eh. They're quite large. So we'll just have to shrink them down. I have I have a reference image for this character. Took Mouse Five tries to draw a circle. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> it's not fucking easy. No, you gotta it's gonna take me more tries to draw this circle. Cause like it's gotta be a particular shape. There we go. And then even when I'm happy with it, I'm gonna rechange it. This is one of the common parts of art is that you just control Z constantly. Or erase, or don't erase, actually. Some people don't erase. It's gonna take, it's gonna take multiple attempts. It's a very specific shape. I'm a perfectionist. I'm gonna need to get it right. might actually just take a look at my reference as well, just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything with this character. Since this is the first time they're being drawn. In the comic. Oh, my iPad's all the way over there. Fuck. <laughs> it's not actually that far away. For those of, you, those of you who can't see, which is all of you, it's not that far away. But I'm lazy. Ah. It's me. Illustration. Give me a moment, gang. Pish posh makes circle perfect. Nah. Nah, mate, it's not perfect. I could look at your circle and I'd be like, nah. Incorrect. These aren't even perfect circles. They're glasses. So they won't be perfect circles. They're actually not perfect circles anyway. I'm actually not happy with how the left one's turned out. So joke's on you. Joke's on me. Where is it? Armella? There it is. It's because Armella doesn't have the dark background anymore. So. It's one of those things I genu genuinely was like looking at it and I didn't even look at it really. I was staring at this, <laughs> staring at this sketch of Armella, this character. And I was like, I'm actually not even looking at it. It's too busy focusing on the, the drawing, this one. You ever have those like, probably not, but those feelings that something's just off, something's just a little too off, then you're not happy with it. That's me all the time. I also dislike the idea of making it look rough. Because, like, I could draw this circle fairly quickly in scratch lines, but I would hate that, because it would look rough as fuck. 
even this, what I'm doing now, I'm not happy. <laughs> not too happy with it. It is not, not is, oh yeah, yeah, it's not ideal. So don't like that I'm super far away. from the actual canvas. I'm closer now, but I wasn't before. And there are certain things there are certain things you can do with a like far far perspective on the canvas. But then sometimes you just need to be really up close and personal like this like now. There we go. Cool. Uh, I'll be out in the woods in the middle of the night and everything's quiet and suddenly get the something's wrong feeling. Yeah, and it's a terrible feeling. It's the worst feeling ever. You want to avoid it as much as possible. But it's unavoidable because we're humans and we recognize recognize the sense of danger. or the absence of a sense of normality. And I look to my left and ask the werewolf and wendigo next to me if they felt it too. Yeah. And they probably wouldn't, because they don't get it. They don't get it. They don't have the same desire for self-preservation as we do. They just want to exist. Bloody cryptids. Getting all the good shit. Just can't get these lines right. Because I'm being very, very, very particular about these lines. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't get it. They don't get that feeling of nervousness. Sort of. My goal is to make sure the line doesn't get ah fuck. The line doesn't get thicker. As it leaves the hair. Cause I feel like that would look will look weird. I dislike it. Dislike the idea of letting it Look bad. Yeah, and something about the face. Not convinced. Hold on. Just gonna check my reference. I need to charge this. Yeah, her face needs to be slightly longer. And by face, I mean face, not head.
This is, of course, making it so that I'll have to fix a few more things. But, again, I'm, per I'm a perfectionist to a fault. So I'm just going to be a perfectionist. Going to accept myself for who I am. And live my life. Ah, she's got a backpack too, my worst nightmare. It's just another character with a fucking backpack. Who would have thought my... I would grow to hate backpacks. Takes your perfectionism like how fate takes someone's name. That's gonna be impossible, they're gonna... Then no, nothing, not even a fae creature could take my perfectionism. My... Anxiety at... Getting things wrong. Or not perfect. Nothing could take that. Frickin' God of the fates couldn't even do that. Nothing, nothing could take that curse from me. I might even make this slightly more subtle. When it comes down to it. But, yeah, because it kind of, like, looks a little too tight against her body. I want a little bit of, like, cloth. Cloth and fabric effects. And, and bends and stuff like that. You know, otherwise I've, otherwise I've learned nothing. You don't, don't want just a tight hanging outfit. That would be really uncomfortable to travel in. Add just a few small alterations to make it more cloth-like. And I guess just enjoy the process as well. We're drawing a new character. We get to draw Armella. Finally. I've been looking forward to this since the start of chapter three. A new character joins the the tale, the story. Finally, I'm not just drawing Ratchet, I'm drawing Ratchet and Armella. For multiple pages. Fantastic. Why do you think all the Isekai Pro tags have a subspace skill. Artists hate backpacks. Yeah, they suck. I mean, it sucks to draw constantly and having to remember it constantly and things like that. That's annoying. Sure. Um, and, I, and I think I talk about this every single time. I talk about my frustration with having to draw. Not frustration. My woes of having to draw a backpack constantly or just backpack straps constantly. But I bring it up every single time, but they intentionally, in the Castlevania animated TV series, they intentionally hide Trevor Belmont's whip and then eventually chain whip because they were too hard to consistently animate. And so I feel like I'm just following in their footsteps in that I'm just... <laughs> Ratchet is going to put his backpack down once he gets to his location once he gets to his uncle's house, and then he's never going to pick it up again. Because why would he need to carry his backpack around when he is settled? Settled in a location. So, yeah. That's my logic. I feel like that needs to curve a little bit more. Like that much more. Just because it doesn't... It looks like it's riding up weird on on her, her little, like, chest guard. You 
it needs to look normal. Also, this was like, that was way too thick as well. It's like a leather chest guard. Curas. Yeah, it's a leather curus. Curus. Curas? Curus. It's a leather curus, so it shouldn't be too thick as a material. Will he be settled permanently, though? Oh, well, I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that for certain. He will be settled for a time because he's at his uncle's place. It might just be a weekend. He might just be settled for the weekend to see his uncle and and reminisce and catch up about times long past, uh, which is an ironic statement for those of you who uh, know the story, which is none of you. Um, however, it, just trust me when I say it's an ironic statement. Actually, I can just tell you. He was a, he was adopted, so he was adopted by a human. So he didn't see his family very often anyway. So catching up on lost times is essentially from Ratchet being born to now. Those are the lost times. So his uncle, he's meeting with his uncle, who is his biological uncle, but he has never truly known his family. So he knows him through writing and things like that. Um, but beyond that, he doesn't really know this character, doesn't know this person that well, has vague memories of him when he was very little before he was moved on and taken away. Uh, then the backpack will come back, potentially. We don't know, but I'll be a better artist. I'll be a more experienced artist then, so I may be better at managing and managing my emotions first and foremost, but also managing a backpack as well. So I'm gonna give, I'm just gonna give Armella a, a great sword with a kind of curved hilt, yeah. Or hint hints, have Ratchet find a bag of holding. That would be cool. I'm trying to distance this comic from D&D &D due to their agreement that they promptly backed out of. But uh, I'm still going to make distance from it. A bag of holding would be good, but he won't, he won't, like, genuinely, from chapter 3, this is chapter 3, from chapter 4 onwards, he won't need his backpack. Even if he moves on, he won't need his backpack. And even if he does use his backpack, I'll just get over it. I'll suck it up and just deal. Deal with him having a backpack. It's not... It's not actually that big of a problem. Also, him having a bag of holding doesn't actually solve the problem because he's still got a bag. <laughs> and my issue is not actually with the volume of what's in the bag. It's the bag itself. So, like, I... Honestly, I really like the the brainstorming, but it's <laughs> that wouldn't help. <laughs> Sadly. It's okay. He's just gonna get rid of his backpack at some point. How else is he gonna carry his supplies? Well, he may not need to carry his supplies, that's what I'm saying. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, can't spoil too much. But there may be a reason why he, personally, won't need to carry his supplies. That honestly feels too close anyway. So I'm actually gonna have it right up re like right up really thin. If I can get this yeah there we go. Get this to be more consistent. This one is fine. Nope. 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 Ah, uh, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, it would be a smaller bag. That's true. It would be a smaller bag. What about road snacks? Depriving the ratchet of the trail mix. How dare you? Have you seen... Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you exhibit... Exhibit A. 
Have you seen this man, this boy's pants? <laughs> he can store so many road snacks in his pants. They have pockets. You, you want to know how many Toblerones he can fit in his pockets? A metric fuck ton. <laughs> Those are parachute pants. Yeah, he's got big pants. He's got big... In no, so don't worry, like... The bag of holding is a really good idea for sure, though. And I may actually use that for later installments. Maybe not Ratchet's installments, but there are two spin-offs that are planned for this comic. And... Uh, they will have various different questions and greater expansions on... Uh, predominantly the world of magic in this world, in this universe... And then on top of that, the um, the exploration of kind of limitless wealth and bounty as well. So Ratchet isn't that wealthy. So he likely couldn't afford things of value, like things of high value. And since he was a part of a mercenary guild for a time... He probably wouldn't, and also because he was the smallest member of the mercenary gang, he probably wouldn't have been trusted with the bag of holding. Actually, that's a really good point that I haven't brought up yet. He may not have been trusted at all to handle valuable things. I mean, also, a bag of holding goes on the waist, not the torso, so you can hide it more easily if needed. That's a very, very good point. I may, like, like I said, I will likely use that idea, but... It may not make sense for Ratchet, is what I'm saying. Maybe not his character, like not, 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 not his character, but, um, but definitely, um, uh, well, sorry, my brain just shut down with the not, not, um, Maybe not predominantly for his character because his character isn't wasn't the strongest because you also because the person who has the bag of holding is usually the is usually someone who can carry that kind of weight. Um, there we go. That's better. Um, and Ratchet is definitely not the one, so he might get a bag of holding soon, but he doesn't have one now. And actually, there is a character who has a bag of holding as well. That's These are two completely different kind of archers. Hold on, sorry. The photos of the mercenary gang? Very astute, nice. Like, good, like, um, context clues. Context clue gathering. It's exact specifics I haven't given to you because that's not going to happen. You're not going to know what... Like, if I told you that, it's not going to spoil anything, but it won't make sense in the context of what we know of the comic. But it is of the mercenary gang, so you've got that much. Because we've seen two, two photos in Ratchet's possession previously, both of which were of his father, one of which was this same picture, but obscured behind the photo of Ratchet's father. So... We've been given a little bit of an insight. That's in chapter two, if you want to go and check that. But, yeah. We've been given a little insight into what this picture is. And it's not, like, a secret, so to speak. It's definitely not a secret, but it's... For a while, it won't be important. I get the mouse yapping, and I'll find details eventually. Yeah, it's because I want to talk about my comic. <laughs> I'm happy to tell you most of the stuff about it. It's because I want to talk about my comic. It's not a secret. Some of these things aren't a secret. Some of it I'm just trying to withhold so that you read the comic eventually, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's draw these rocks. Gotta zoom in. Gotta lock in.
Yeah. Don't take much for me to spill the secrets. Spill the beans. But only if I feel like it's fine. You know, there are certain things where I'm just like, yeah, it's more, I'm more than happy to tell you that there are going to be, like, big... In, in the comic world, there will be big historical events that will be regularly talked about throughout the series. And you'll get different versions of them depending on who you're talking to or who's doing the talking. No, no, everything that isn't published is classified behind authorization codes. I'm just a simple reporter. No, it's not classified. I'm happy to talk about some of this stuff. Certain bits you won't get out of me. Like, I can, I can promise you with absolute certainty there are certain things that, I, that are about this comic because I know how this comic ends. I know every little bit of what it go, will go into this comic. Like, I know how this comic ends. Uh, and I've written it. That stuff you will not know. And that stuff I will not talk about. I will not tell anybody that. There are two people in the world who know how this comic ends, other than myself. One of them might tell you, because they are a gossip. A bit of a gossip. The other one, absolutely not. Probably better at keeping secrets than I am. No one gets to find out how this ends. If you're a member on Coffee, or Ko-Fi apparently is how it's pronounced. I have learned it is pronounced Ko-Fi, which is dumb. It should be Coffee. Um, on my Ko-Fi, I'm just going to call it Coffee. On my Coffee, uh, I actually release the, the manuscripts for each of the chapters as I start the chapters. So you can actually read what happens in each chapter way earlier if you want to but it's for members and it's for members on the uh, comic editor and comic producer tier so you ha you'd have to be paying $5 to $10 a month uh, hey Gray tell me about this big bad war that happened 250 years ago that you're going to hint about throughout the comic that's not it <laughs> nah Incorrect, my friend. Incorrect. See, I don't have to tell you anything. It's certainly not a war. That's all you're getting. And because I was going to tell you that anyway. Because I really didn't want to explore wars. If if you get if you catch my meaning, I didn't want so I didn't want a big historical event that was a war, because I find so much media does that. It's like oh the fairy wars, or as we were joking about in D and D this week, the gnome wars, where a bunch of human humanoids went to war with gnomes and kicked their asses. It was essentially um, slaughter, wholesale slaughter because they were just short and couldn't really fight against the force of man. These trees, these sometimes these trees are tough. Yeah, but I didn't I didn't like the idea of a war being at the forefront. If you catch my meaning? The Big Bad War historic event is oversaturated. Yeah, and I, it was one of those things. It also, it's, it's very hard to explore character through war unless the character is in the war, if you know what I mean. So usually, you know, fantasy stories will add a big war, you know, a big war of the, you know, the, the cheese masters or whatever, or the guild wars. I should, I'm sorry, that's, that's an actual game and it's quite a good game. Um, but yeah, it's like a war over something and it's very hard to explore character. You explore your character as a collective and not as a person, which I disliked for my comic because I liked the idea of exploring character as individualistic and unique and in a way that was quite... I wanted to explore character in a way that was more 
familial and focused on familial bonds over, you know, chosen, oh, well, band of brothers kind of stuff because we have a lot of chosen family stuff in this as well. Found family. I mean, Ratchet is an adopted child. And one thing I wanted to make abundantly clear was that even though he is adopted, he was very much loved. And he wasn't loved any less than an unadopted child and things like that. You know, I wanted to explore things like that. AS Guild Wars 2 is the most tragic war to ever befall this fantasy world. Exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, but it's why I kind of ex uh, avoided the war kind of theme. Well, actually, say, well, not saying that now, as in, like, I'm about to backpedal on what I said. So this is stuff I've talked about, so this is on record already. But there, there was a... Not an invasion. It definitely wasn't an invasion. It was the resonant, so in quotation marks, resonant empire that controls a good portion of the lands of Regale, which is this land, uh, occupied Kaitiaki, which is this land, for a time. And has such... And because of a historical event that I'm not going to mention until it's mentioned in this chapter, so you can just wait. Um, a historical event that happened in this chapter, not in this chapter, happened and will be mentioned in this chapter, uh, happened and as such the uh, resonant, it's known as the resonant, it's not actually known as the resonant empire, but the resonant receded from Katiaki and is trying to maintain its grip on the continent because the continent possesses valuable resources. Uh, however, this place has become... Because one of the biggest things about goblins is that they are accommodating to people with a larger lifespan than them. So as a result, they have been very good at making friends. And because they've been making friends, the Resonant Empire is not keen on giving up their power because there could, there could be a potential uh, civil war brewing within... Ketiaki. And if that were to happen, the goblins would likely win. The shattering of Elden Ring caused them to withdraw from the continent. Exactly! Yeah, it's the shattering from Elden Ring. It is literally mentioned as such. It goes, <laughs> I, it, a character will say, and after the shattering from Elden Ring, TM, um, <laughs> the resonant withdrew withdrew from Kaitiaki. Then we could not reclaim it because the shattering and such. Yeah, but once this comic, once this chapter comes out, it'll make sense. It'll make more sense. You'll be like, oh, that's what Kramas was talking about. <laughs> that thing, that historical event. Now I understand. And we, we'll get, like, consistent drip feeding of little pieces of information about it. There may be a character who was present at this historical event. But they remember it very differently to another person who was also present at this historical event. You know, the shattering from Elden Ring. We get Margit in this story. Now foul tarnished befriend the lone goblin and become Eldeen Lord. Oh, Heavenly Rizgod, I apologize for being late, but unless I'm here. Welcome, Zombie Slayer. How are you? Don't worry. We, uh, we're just chipping away at this new page. So you've not missed too much. I was just talking about the comic world as well. So doing my favorite thing. Just talking about what to expect in this chapter what's going to be coming up the soup requires you it does get in the soup get yourself in the soup climb in get comfortable
But yeah, and then we'll also get like, like in um, Skyrim, and Fallout New Vegas actually. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, uh, and in Fallout New Vegas, we'll get various different perspectives from different sides of, you know, this this occupation, including resonant perspectives, including goblin perspectives, you know, including people who moved to Kaitiaki and settled in the lands. We'll get to learn the history of the world in little drip-fed pieces. Get to learn about the gods and religion in the worlds. Spoilers, it's only Greek mythology. It's all just Greek mythology. <laughs> and I've not changed anything. It's still Zeus. Zeus getting up to mischief. Uh, oh yes, an update on the Dishonored book you have. Yes, in in it there is, is there's a, wow, I, my brain is really shutting down. Uh, there's a story of someone wanting to have power, so they legit crushed, crushed bone charms and runes into paste and ate it. And of course the death was slow because it's Dishonored. Yeah, there's that cruel kind of world. And it's like you could almost even argue that the outsider was like, well, I gave them powers. You know, I well, I did grant their wish and they faced a swift, swift death or whatever. But, you know, that, that is Dishonored. Val tarnished, you're not let me solo her, put on clothes before meeting the goblin. Yes, no untoward behavior around the goblin. He is but a child, but a whisk. But a whisk? No, but a yoke. He is but a yoke of a being. Because he is. Goblin years is weird. It was very, it's like super hard to... It was, like, super annoying to calculate. But Ratchet is about seven. So in goblin years, he's seven years old. In human years, that's, like, about 15. Well, not 15, like, 13. So he's still a young kid, but... He's also only got 20 years... 25 years of life. Total. Which is also, like, depressing. <laughs> it's a depressing aspect to the story, is that, like, no matter how you swing it, Ratchet will not get older than 25. Goblin puberty, I see. Yeah, essentially, yeah. He will, yeah. <laughs> and this, so, actually, it's not going to be any issue that I reveal that also over this comic, over this comic series, the main series, uh, it spans over three years in world. So Ratchet, by the end of the comic, depending on what happens, he would be, um, so 10. So he would be about 18 by the time the comic finishes, give or take. You know, a few years. Goblin years, very hard to calculate because it's stupid. But yeah, he'd be ten. Ten-ish. In goblin years. Oh, does it span over three years? It may only span over one. If I'm thinking about it correctly, because there may be a point in the comic where there's a birthday. A birthday for a sweet bean. I think it, I think it is only one year, so he he'll be eight. But still, I mean, since it's Greek mythology, I can name a few ways for Ratchet to not die at twenty-five. All difficult but doable. Oh, the Greek mythology thing was a joke. <laughs> it's not Greek mythology. I've made my own pan not pantheon. I've made my own religion for this. Because why not? If you're gonna if you're gonna make a fantasy story, may as well just go balls to the walls. Just go nuts, you know? I, I've written a language. I've written a whole language for this comic. I'm not going to just stop at gods. I'm going to go fucking nuts. I'm going to go f batshit crazy. I'm going to be insufferable to talk about and talk to in at, like, parties and stuff. 
there is also a meeting with official of the Empire. Hold on, let me just save because I realize I haven't done that in a while. Uh, with Emily Corvo and the Chief of Police, or the equivalent in Dishonored. So Emily gets an invitation to go to the Boyle Ball, but she says that she's always too busy to go. But Corvo says, "I don't, don't go. Y you wouldn't enjoy it." And then someone asks, "Wait, Lord Protect." protector you've been and Corvo says once but it didn't end well and he shrugs his shoulders and I was dying from laughter for five minutes straight that's fantastic I feel like Corvo would have a sense of humor it probably would have been very withdrawn but it would still be present good good the proper way to do fantasy do the insanity yeah I spent one year writing the comic before I even started illustrating and one of the big parts of the process was that I wanted to ensure that it felt, the world felt lived in. So I had historical events that happened that do not relate to the events at Kaitiaki at all. Uh, or the events of the, the comic at all. I wanted that very strongly. Uh, and then I wanted, you know, a... a written language for the goblins so then their language actually seems real and then the world will have writing in in cat in cat eye uh in certain areas that you go and that will indicate goblin activity and goblin connection and stuff like that you could also just say don't i don't like it fuck you it's my story bitch yeah i mean sure but that feels I feel like I could do more, you know? I always want to do more. Hey, Smiley, how you doing? I think I just came in while you were about to end. Where we've got, oh yeah, we've got about two minutes. You are you are right. I may, I mean, but it's still very lovely to see you, of course. So I hope you are well. We are probably going to end quite soon, but it's always good to, to get a hello, a hello in. But we've done some good. We've done. We finished a page. We made some progress on the next page. So everything's looking up. In the soup. Yep. True. True. Get in the soup. Get in the soup. Even if it's just for a dip, just a quick dip. Before I tip it into the Tupperware. Oh, I just. I made bread today. Oh, I can have bread. I can have buttered toast after stream. What a treat. Soup needs more sex appeal. Get in smiley. <laughs> nice. Uh, there's also Dying Light prequel book, which you're ecstatic to read. Nice. I really enjoyed Dying Light. I played a little bit of it with my brother uh, and I really enjoyed it. It is a cool game. And it would be good to know what happened, you know, in the lead up to whatever, whatever happened to that area. You know, all the zombies and stuff. Oh, that's terrible line work. What am I doing? I'm a fool. I'm a fool in a rat's body. It's fine. I can fix it. I can fix it. We should, that being said, let us look at who to raid, because we are done for the day. Let's save. Grey Mouse has saved 780 times. Yes. It's a randomized number. But probably quite accurate. Uh, so we'll give this a save, and then we will export. Export both, I guess. I mean, yeah, that tracks, right? So file, export, as a JPEG. On to chapter 3. Chapter 3, page 5. Hell yeah. That's big. At 50% quality, because it would chew up my storage if I did save it at full quality. And then definitely this page as well. 
export to show off to whoever we raid to. And actually, I gotta write speech bubbles and stuff because if you are a member on Coffee, then you get access to the pages when they are completed. So you get access to them months and months earlier than the rest of everybody who watch, who reads on Tapas. Uh, and that's one of the draws to potentially getting a membership um, with my coffee. Definitely no no need to if you don't want to or if, you, if you're not looking to get that kind of thing. But it is one of the rewards that you receive when you uh, get a membership. Now, let me find my art page. We upload a file. My God. <laughs> the Beanstalk Brigade comic, full comic, volume one, chapter three. Chapter three, page four, open. There we go. First one up. Hear me out, hear me out. Just raid Greymass this one time at least. I can't raid myself. I mean, he, Greymass is never live when I'm, I mean, Greymass is always live when I'm live, but then he, he also raids out after, uh, before I raid out, actually. Let's even say that. Uh, I got a gifted sub to Jelly, so I almost feel compelled to raid just to say thank you for the gifted sub. No, no, zombie has a point. No, no, zombie does not have a point. Do not encourage him. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Y'all don't demand things of me. I am the streamer. You are just little goblins. No, um. <laughs> so you admit it. You are grey mass. Yes. <laughs> Wait, that's not a secret. As the teacher in Incredibles, a coincidence. I think not. That can't become a thing. That can't become a thing that I... That I've been, like, secretly hiding the fact that I'm Grey Mouse from all of you. That's not... This isn't a thing that becomes a trend. We can't live like this. Oh, wow, a lot of people are actually alive tonight. Thank you, Simon. <laughs> we demand things all the time. What are you on about? That's true. That's true. You're all very demanding. In the best possible way, of course, but it is still demand. You are still making demands, so... This taking soups looks suspiciously like grey mass at times. Oh, this talking soup looks like looks suspiciously like grey mass at times. Yes. This reflection I see in the soup looks a lot like grey mass. A crafty jellyfish. Uh, it's her four-year stream anniversary. I feel like... And I received a gifted sub. So I feel like I need no other reason to raid than that. I think there's so many reasons to raid for a crafty jellyfish. Uh, I've spelled craft so, so wrong. Hold on. Uh, so you've been lying to me this whole time that this mysterious person named Greymas, who I've begged you multiple times to raid, is you? How dare thou st- how dare that? I feel like the the gravity of the like anger is heavily diffused by the thoust. It's been happening for several months, maybe even years. Let's be honest. I've been lying to you guys for a very long time. I'm not. Uh, actually, never mind. I'm not gonna admit that. I am a mouse. Let's get that jelly. Did you spelt craft as cr as capped? No. Oh, it was so much worse than that. I feel betrayed, thanks. Well, you're in for one hell of a shock when I raid out while you're fainted. No, I spelled, hold on, gonna cancel the raid before I do it. I spelt craft like this. Oh, actually, it's pretty close, Carift. Pretty close to what you said. Wake up, zombie. Zombie, we're about to raid, you can't be asleep. Oh, there's an ad coming up. Let's raid before that ad finishes or starts. Uh, so just don't raid anyone at all then. Okay, yeah. Smelling salts. He's up. 
Zombie Slayer's up. All right, let's get raiding. I will see you all potentially tomorrow. I will be live with more comic. Uh, until then, go be the rainbow in somebody else's day because you have done more than enough here. I'll see you all next time. Bye.